Hello, so journalers. Today we're going to talk about collage. Collage is defined in a Webster dictionary as an artistic composition made up of various materials such as paper, fabric, wood, photograph, glued on a surface. Basically, it's everything and anything that you can glue on any surface really that you're working with. I personally keep a basket of different items for my collages. Let me show that to you. In here is just a collection of basically a lot of scraps. In it, there's stickers, there's die cuts, there's uh, tissue paper, decorative ones, everything and anything can go in here. Now, typically, when we think collage, we think a page just chock full of different materials, right? I mean, after all, that is what a collage is. However, it doesn't really need to be that complicated. I know there's a lot of people who have a hard time with collages, and I think probably a lot of that is because they're thinking that they have to throw everything in there and they just have to have a whole lot of items on a page where you can collage something with just two or three pieces and you can start that way. And as you get used to doing that, you can start adding more items to it. There's nothing wrong with doing a collage page, leaving it, and then coming back to it later on if you so choose. Now you can add paint to it, um, such as acrylic, watercolor. You know, you've seen many examples of collages. So on this video today, I am going to show you the very simple way of collaging. And hopefully that will encourage you to start collaging on your own and not get so hung up with trying to put all the elements that you could possibly put on a page and start there and pretty soon you will be dubbed as a collage artist. So stay tuned. This project is actually for Create December 2018, day two. The prompt is joy. I am using a B6 Slim notebook. Let me move some of these things out of the way. I'm also going to be using uh, Tim Holtz, this collage paper, and this is the Botanical series, which I've already cut a piece of. Actually, it was one of my scraps. I'm using this, I'm sure you guys have seen these at stores where you can get these posters, or I think sometimes people use them as gift wrap. Anyway, I got one that has trees on it because it looks very Christmassy since there were a couple of pine trees. And so I cut that out already ahead of time. And then this, again, is another piece of scrap that I used a couple of videos ago. This too was a bigger piece of scrap and I just cut a piece that I thought would look interesting and will contrast this piece. I also wrote on this side the words find joy on the daily. So let's get started. I'm going to use this gesso basically to glue the items down. See here, I'm only using four pieces of paper. This gesso is not really clear, and so I'm kind of wiping it down a little bit. I like the effect of it having some white on it. Doing collages is so fun because you can just get dirty and it's acceptable <laughs> to get stuff all over your fingers and your, your hands.
gonna go ahead and use some of these word stickers and incorporate it into that page and that collage. There's other words that go with joy like smile and laugh. So I'm going to include that. I'm going to overlap this on the word joy just to make it look different and not so predictable. And then on this side, we'll go ahead and letter these in. I'm just going to give you the gist of this because I'm going to have to do this off camera. There you go. Very simple. Just very few collage elements and then writing on the other side. Thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, keep on documenting life as it happens. Bye-bye.